if this was. Oh, you're cooked. Yep, you're cooked. You're cooked. Yeah, they they gave you the gauntlet, man. They gave you the gauntlet, bro. They gave you the hammer. That's a death sentence, bro. YouTube, what's good with y'all boys? Today we're watching another UDY video. Y'all yeah, know there's something different, man. I ain't gonna lie. Look at the retwist. Today we're helping Jocelyn place her boyfriend Justin to the test. To be honest, I've been watching this channel for a while. I'm really interested in what he's going to do. He's not passing. We might as well do payout already. I'm really interested in what he's going to do if this was thrown at him. And yeah, she got yeah. the makeup on to too. She's looking good. Our decoy pilot will be hitting on Justin oh. and asking for money. Will Justin remain loyal? Or have he and Jocelyn been dating for two years too many? What if he fails? Violet, dude, Violet has riz. Violet is good, bro. Violet on me. Fold. Like, damn. Man, I ain't gonna lie. He's cooked, bro. Cloud, I bet 40k on no. You should have, yo. Yo, you you cooked, bro. I'm not gonna lie. Violet doesn't fail. That's crazy. Hey, what's up? Nice to finally meet you. Nice to meet you too. If it isn't already obvious for recording this, if that's okay. That's fine. Okay, okay, okay. Cool, cool, cool. So why is it that you wanted to put this thing together then? Why is it that you wanted to set up a test? To be honest, he doesn't have any red flags, but I do want to see how he'll react if someone were to flirt with him. So you're just kind of curious then? Yeah. Got you. I'm yeah. nervous, excited, because I'm senior, so, so I can go. <laughs> yeah, anything can happen, right? Anything. All right. Cloud, do you think you're folding to Violet? Yes. <laughs> yes. Anything can happen. Yeah, I trust him. I wouldn't fold. I'm a loyal motherfucker, man. Yo, I, I'm, yo, I'm a loyal guy, too, despite what y'all think. But I know when I'll fold, bro. Like, if I see her and I start talking to her, I will literally have to walk away from the situation because I know I will fold. <laughs> I don't think he'd be capable. I just don't want things to end bad or nothing like that, especially if there's nothing already going bad with you guys right now. I mean, if it's meant to be. Reached out to us via our Google Docs form. She didn't suspect her boyfriend of cheating. She just wanted to see what he would do when placed to a loyalty test. I was very hesitant in this video because you guys know how bad these things can go. But after a couple yes, of other okay, tests unfortunately fell through and after triple checking that she was sure, we were giving this thing a go. How do you think is the best way to get him to the home that we're going to be filming at? Do you still think going through like what he does for work and all that? I think so, because if it has anything to do with work. Okay, this is yep. I'm not going to lie. This is yep. We don't need to know this. I want to get to the test. He's up for it. Okay. So how does he pick up clients? Do they normally like text him? Do they call him? Does he have a website? Is it through social media? It's kind of everything, like personal number, email. We don't need to know this. Let's get, let's get to the point. Truck, this is God the damn, cyber never mind. Oh my god, Kyle, is this a new rap? Oh my god, this is not the cyber truck. This is the cyber boost. I think we're gonna have to use this truck in a video. I would pull for this truck, you know what I mean? <laughs> What'd you make that thing dance right there? I love this truck. I think we gotta what does Kyle do? Cash. Is he like a cyber beast scammer? Cyber beast test coming soon, but for this video, this is where Nathan and Kyle will be sneaking out. Now, the way we're getting Justin to this house was through his work. You see, Justin is a cinematographer, he works with camera and video. Well, we know someone who's looking to hire a cinematographer. Have I got a surprise that the OGs are gonna Love. Where you at? Darn it! <laughs> Yo, we got the OG himself back, Jordan. Oh, his car is on the tow truck right now. I know. I know some people out there still remember Jordan. I know a lot of people out there. Nigga, who the fuck is this nigga? Remember seven Jordan. years ago. S was it seven, seven years, years ago? ago? Jordan's been out here grinding with this open mic company, just killing the game. We've done over 200 events in LA. We just did a world tour. First event ever to do an open mic at Rolling Loud. All we do is provide opportunities to independent music artists. Tapping with something dope for the people. We're going to be doing an event in your city soon. The goal was to get Justin to come over and have a meeting with Jordan about potentially working together. We thought it would be a little suspicious if Jordan were to hit up Justin himself, though. Like, how does this big open mic company conveniently pick out Justin out of all these other cinematographers? in LA. Well, to get around this, we had Jocelyn tell Justin about the opportunity instead. Jocelyn told bro, the one thing about UDY, they always be having these elaborate ass plans, bro. And she met Violet. That's how you know this shit is real. Like, you feel me? Like, they like think this shit through. 
a Jordan's assistant through a mutual friend. According to Jocelyn, Violet mentioned that Jordan was looking for someone to film his open mic events. Jocelyn thought Justin would be a great fit for the job, so she and Violet began facilitating a meeting with the big man. Jocelyn had to convince Justin to meet with Jordan. She showed him the something dope pages, the websites, the videos, and told him whatever she needed to tell him to make this opportunity seem more lucrative and legitimate. And eventually, her work paid off. Soon after, the meeting was set in stone. Okay, cool. Here we go, guys. This is it. Violet should be getting a text from Jocelyn that she is here with her boyfriend. Now, we had Jocelyn act as middleman so that one, she could easily tag along, and two, so that Violet could ask this for Justin's number. This spy-ass background music, text. man. As of right now, I feel Violet like I'm in a movie. zero communication with Justin. And Yo, she chat. Okay. God damn, she fine. Okay, anyways, back to the point. Y'all don't know, recently on uh, Instagram, I've been blowing the fuck up, all right? Like, my... I've been posting like reels every single day and one of my reels just blew the fuck up, right? 10 million. But the reel that she's in blew up too. It got like 600,000 and she's seen this shit. All right. And you want to wait? The reason why I know she's seen this shit is because I credited her and oh, she didn't like this one. Okay. Nah. Okay. I'm, I'm going to be real. Uh, I think it was. She commented under. Yeah. She commented under this, right? You feel me? I seen she commented under it. I told her. Yo, I responded back. The goat. She liked that shit. I don't know why it's not showing, but she liked that shit. That's all y'all got to know. Okay, peep. Past that, right? Okay, anyways. She responded. We chopped it up a little bit. It was cool. Whatever. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. I'm trying to get a stream with her, right? I'm trying to get her on stream virtually. I don't know how possible that would be. I don't know if that's going to happen, but I'm going to try to, all right? That's all I'm going to say. Doesn't have his contact information. But do you guys know that some people online might have your contact information? I'm it took Justin and Jocelyn quite a bit of time to get to the home. We waited a good minute before Jocelyn finally texted Violet that they were there. Okay, I'll go get them. Oh, I think Violet just got a text that they are here. Okay. Here we go, here we go, here we go. I think they're here. Kyle and Nathan, I think the couple has arrived. Kyle and Nathan, I think the couple has arrived. Oh, oh dude, hey, lean back, lean back, 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 back. Bro, this is going way too slow. Roll this window up, roll this window up. Lay back, lay back, oh wait. Hopefully they don't see us. They can't. No, they're good, good. oh, the tent's good. Oh, they're coming right now, oh that's them. All right, you guys are right on time. So nice to see you. How are you, Justin? Right? Yes. Justin. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Damn. Look, I feel like right now we're like undercover, bro. Like, dude. How was you guys' drive? Oh, don't worry about it. <laughs> How was the drive? It was fine. It was okay. It was okay. Nothing too crazy. That's good. How's it going, Jordan? Justin, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Jordan. Awesome. Hope the drive wasn't too crazy. You know, we're pretty high up here right now. So. Yeah, I mean, it was okay. You know, LA. Oh yeah, sorry. Can we do get you, guys, you water? Yeah, or? do you want any snacks or anything? Any water? Yeah, so sure. you do have some over there. You need anything? I'm gonna go. Yeah. You want some snacks? Yeah. Okay, I'll go ahead and get you some. And my name's Violet, by the way. I don't know if I might have forgot to introduce myself. But yeah. I know she knew me, Make but yourself yeah. at my home. name's Violet. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Uh, please take a seat. <laughs> okay. Jocelyn was not supposed to ask for snacks here. Oh, she wanted some snacks. Okay. <laughs> this was not part of the plan, but okay. Jocelyn's line here was to ask to use the restroom. This would then give her the perfect excuse to come to the control room. But I mean, hey, it happens. She's probably just nervous. Jocelyn forgot her line. Oh, that's all good. It's all good. Nerves. Good. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. White ass name Violet. That's not how you spell Violet. You spell Violet V I O L E. E T T E, I think. Yes. But yeah, so, like, how long have you been a cinematographer? Tell me about it. Five, six years now. Okay. Oh, vi yeah, V I O L E T. Yeah, I know how to spell Violet. Okay, wait, we have to say you're going to the bathroom. Yeah. Okay. Violet refreshes Jocelyn on her line and steers this test into the right direction. Sorry yeah. to interrupt. Okay. I just wanted to make sure is the bathroom still not uh, working because she just needs not, to. Go. It's not fixed yet. Sorry about that. We have like mm -hmm. eight bathrooms here. Okay. Um, Take her to 
upstairs or there's yeah there's one upstairs next to the lounge if you want to just like chill in there while there well. yeah if you gotta use yeah. the bathroom it's... okay yeah let's Thank go you. sorry so all of these events as you saw you probably checked out the page it's all for independent music artists Gosh. Violet came in with a save and leads Jocelyn into our control room while Jordan remains downstairs pretending to interview Justin. Who's badder, Violet or Violet Myers? What do y'all think, chat? Me personally, I'll say Violet, honestly. But no, who's badder? Okay. Let me say this. This Violet, she looks like a girl I know in real life. Who I may or may not have had relations with. But look. I say finer, Violet for sure. Prettier, Violet for sure. But badder, Violet Myers. And here's what I say. Fine and pretty is separate from bad, all right? Fine and pretty is just you look good and your body looks good, right? But bad means like, yo, you got that bad ass, nigga. You got that, you feel me? Boom, but you feel me? You got that base, you feel me? You got everything, you feel me? You thick as hell, all that shit. That's what bad mean, all right? So it's a difference, man. We have an amazing team now. As you see, our you know content is it's doing very well. But do you like to travel? We're gonna be traveling a lot. Do you have a passport? I do. Yeah. I, do. Yeah, I love traveling. I mean, we're at the point now where we're doing these events in Italy. Oh. Oh, you good? Yeah, she's good. She's gonna just like chill up in the lounge. If you need her anything, just let me know because the service is kind of spotty. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah okay. I'm gonna oh. just wait. Okay, all right. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. So, yeah, pretty much we're preparing to increase our output on the content side. So, so now we just gotta wait from the walk us in. Once they walk us in, we'll do okay. Cool. Yeah. I mean, I'm not, I'm not even like, I'm, gonna, I'm a Canadian citizen too. Oh, so. you're Canadian? Yeah, so I, I What? Work, so hey, I'm man, I'm sorry. <laughs> just, I just wanna say, I'm sorry. Canada, I know y'all are going through tough times. Yeah. You're in LA right now. Nigga, what the fuck is Canada going through, bro? Nigga, did the Holocaust happen or some shit? The fuck are they going through? What is he talking about? That nigga just yapping. Home of Kendrick Lamar. <laughs> so, yeah. sorry. Um. Damn. Oh. That nigga meant Drake. Well, damn. I thought Jordan was about to get into something political, but this man is talking about Drake versus Kendrick Lamar. How are you feeling? I feel like I feel pretty confident. I still feel confident. Pretty confident. Okay. We'll see if she passes. I want everybody to pass, but hear me out. If they have that ability to cheat and not be truthful around their partner, I'd rather their partner see it and not waste that time. Yeah, so we have a record label and we're gonna have many different artists that we would love for you to work directly with. What's your favorite genres of music? You know, Canada, do you love Drake, rap? Like, what do you, what are you um, listening to? I grew up listening. <laughs> the amount of shade that Jordan is throwing towards Canadians. I thought this beef was over. How long have you guys been dating and everything? <sighs> Almost two years. Almost two years. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna be real. I don't wanna see this nigga yapping. Let's get to the bullshit. Let's get to, where, where, where does Violet come in, bro? Let's, where does Violet? Good. He's in a meeting right now, like I said. So I don't really know. Um... Nathan is pretending to be an artist who is supposed to perform at Jordan's show, and Kyle is pretending to be his manager. They're here to talk to Jordan about a conflicting scheduling issue. Uh, it was a schedule conflict. Okay, I'm gonna just come. Why are, why are these niggas in this video, bro? Like they have nothing to do with this video. That's my one thing with UDY. Y'all just be adding plot to just add plot. Tell him, and then you guys can. I'll tell him you're here, and then you guys can kind of explain what's happening. Okay, perfect. Oh. They dropped in for his second. Like, yeah. Good. It's been a while. What's up, Mr. Cybertruck? Bro, I need What's to take a look. Nice Bro, uh, so sorry to interrupt you guys. Man. Yeah, I am in a meeting. Uh, this is Justin. Yo, Kyle. He, uh, he thinks he's ready to join the Something Dope team. Ooh. How you doing, Nate? Nice you know. Welcome. Uh, so pretty much, we need to kind of make it so he either performs an hour earlier. Wait, for what? Wait, what is it? For the show in Vegas. Okay, Vegas show. We could, head, like, we could have him headline uh, another event. We just had a prior commitment, and there's yeah. a bit of a scheduling conflict okay. with our agent. My bad, I'm still like halfway mid. All right, this is yap, this is yap, this is yap. This is yap, this is yap, okay. Let's get to the point where, you feel me, Violet and her, him are left together. Care of these guys real quick. Oh, okay, this is good. This is really good. I offered him water, maybe he doesn't want any, maybe he yeah, does now. Do Make yourself you at home, water Give him a tour too, show him the house, water. like whatever. Whatever's good. Oh, All right, so go. basically, that nigga is being taken away by, uh, Rich nigga and then light skinned nigga, and I'm pretty sure Violet is supposed to stay with him. That's it. 
Yeah, one of them, let me right? yeah, yeah, let me get on that. Okay. Shoot it real quick. Yeah, sorry about that, man. We have a whole so good. spot we gotta do. No, it's crazy. All right. You guys are coming up. Nathan and Kyle did a great job expressing a sense of urgency. Thanks to them, we were able to get Jordan upstairs and to Violet by herself. Okay, just... there's a plan to all, to all of this. That's good. That's good. Come on, Eddie. That's good. I'll just chill down here with you. And with that, our plan was complete. We set up the perfect scenario for Violet to talk to Justin and make a move on him. The moment of truth has finally arrived. I'll just chill down here with you. Hey, sorry. Uh, I think that was kind of my, well, the scheduling was a little off, but it happens sometimes. Yeah, things happen. Yeah, so, excited about the job? Oh, yeah, it's, yeah. it's super cool, yeah. I mean, yeah, I've had a great time, like, experience working with them. Yeah, he uses me for some of their, like, promo, too, so I get a lot of, like, okay. he's a really yeah. great person to work with, so it'll be okay. a good experience, yeah. That's good stuff. Yeah, That's super stuff. exciting yeah. stuff. Okay, so remember, right here, she's just trying to get her his number. Mm -hmm. Might make subtle hints at going out mm -hmm. and all that stuff, but you can decide if you want. What you eating, Cloud? Low-key? I'm eating some chicken. Because my mom always be cooking chicken and shit, bro. I got some vegetables on the plate too, but I haven't really touched them. Wanna call it quits here, or if you wanna keep it going to like a phase two, okay. But you said you do cinematography, right? So, yes, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's cool. And then where did you say you were coming in from? Uh, Irvine. Irvine, oh, I used to, I just moved from down over there. I lived in Huntington for like two oh, years. okay, right, right, yeah. That's pretty cool. I liked Irvine. There was a really good boba there. <laughs> yeah. <that's laughs> yeah. A lot, of, a lot of good boba, a lot of like, bougie, like, Places. Yeah, I bad. I worked at the South Coast Plaza, but I guess that's custom. But they're like next to each other. Right, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they give me like a similar vibe, I would say. But yeah, it was nice. Where did did you grow up in Orange County? No, actually, I grew up in Canada. <laughs> yeah, I moved down here. I actually just got like my citizenship. Oh really? Oh, congratulations! Thank that's you. super exciting. Yeah, yeah. That's like not an easy thing to do at all. Yeah, I mean, it, it took like. Wow. Oh my gosh. Yeah, well, congratulations. It's really Bro, I'm not finna lie. It's so hard to get citizenship in America for no reason. Oh, me. Exciting. Yeah, I've always wanted to go to Canada. Man, bro, live in Orange County. What's wrong with Orange County, bro? Isn't that where everybody in LA lives? Orange County? What part of Canada are you from? I was from Toronto. Yeah. Oh, like, you friends with Drake? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. Do you speak any like French or anything? Violet continued buttering just enough. I feel like she had a couple missed opportunities to make her move, but I mean, I get it. She was in a professional setting and she couldn't move too quickly. Are you planning on moving up here? Or are you, you okay with the commute? Um, the commute's fine. Like I, I, I think I could probably just like stick it out. You know, just cause yeah. LA, it's just so expensive to live here. Yeah, I get yeah. that. Trust me, I get that. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone's gotta yeah. always be doing something. Yeah, I get that. Well, I'd love to like, you know, because I do like a little bit of like modeling type stuff. I'd love to like maybe see your work. Maybe we could. What type of cinematography do you do? Um, I mostly do. I was like, maybe we could work together. Maybe I could get like your Instagram. Oh, shit, I want to work yeah, with her too. You. Fuck. Let me Damn. Too. So just like that, Violet bags the Instagram. Hey, it doesn't mean. But I mean, that's not like that's not bad though. Like that's connective. Like if I if she talks about yo, let me get your Instagram. I'm thinking it's. Like, okay, if Violet asked me that question, I'm just thinking it's purely connections, like nothing too crazy. Like, that's not that bad, I don't think. It's over yet, though. This man still has a chance. I'd love to see your work, too, because, I don't know, it's just, just fun. How long have you been doing it? Uh, probably like five or six years. Five or six yeah. years? Oh, that's nice. So, this is me. I'm like, dang, wait, that's actually a long time. <laughs> if she asked wow. for the number, that would be a little oh, bit crazy. Oh, that's super cool. Okay, you gave up the Instagram. Technically, it's networking purposes. Though. Yeah, so it's like technically it's still just whatever. Oh, that's super sick. You know, you ever want to do like a shoot? Like, I'd totally be down. You know, maybe we could do like a shoot just like us. Like, we could like come up with like a concept or something. You know, we could get have like some fun. You always got to be up to something when you're in LA. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's the crazy place. A lot of fun things happen. Yeah, gotta, gotta stay busy. Do you ever need like models and stuff? Yeah, totally. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's. I okay. feel like this is like a professional vibe though. Like it doesn't feel like he like wants her, bro. Because if I'm like a you, if I'm a single man, right, and she asked me that, like I'm already gonna be thinking, oh, she trying to you feel me get on some freaky type timing. But he kind of acting cool. 
anxiety. Yeah. I don't know. I've been like trying to get more into stuff, especially like moving out here and whatnot. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This is my Instagram, so you can kind of like see my vibe, like okay. all the things I post. If you're like into any of that, if you want to like do stuff like that, that could be kind of cool too. Yeah, that'd be sick. Yeah, that'd be super cool. Oh man, I'm not gonna lie, guys, I'm getting nervous. I am getting nervous. I told Jocelyn anything can happen. It's not right bad now, right now, though. Hints, but she's about to go for it. Well, like, if you're ever down, like, I don't know if you do, like, private shoots or anything, but maybe private you could, like, crazy. get your number and we could, like. Um, I don't do much private shoots, but, um, yeah, I could definitely get okay. your number if you yeah. want. Yeah. Contact. Yeah, you can put it there. Yeah. I mean, he's not folding right now. He said, yo, bro, it's flabbergasted. He's a little bit surprised on some shit, bro. Because she kind of going for him hard right now, though. Yeah. I don't think that's bad, though. No, 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 no. Wait, hold on. This is not over. I'm going to give the Canadian the benefit of the doubt. He no, no. God damn, she got a lot of hair on her arms. My fault, Chad. No, 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 no. Wait, he's not folding, though. Over. It's not that I'm bad. I'm the benefit of the doubt here and say that I don't think he fully understood what Viola meant by this. I don't think he got the full picture. I don't he think he does either. At all. Let's think of this. As of right now, has Violet made her intentions clear? Or is Justin giving up the number still to him just networking? What are you doing? Okay, it feels just not, it's like networking. It's like, I can't. I don't feel any flirtation vibes going off of this conversation. Exactly. Same. From him. From her, though. Regardless, though, at the end of the day, remember, this is enough to take it to a face. Two. I didn't know yeah, Mia Khalifa was invited to the video. I'm not trying to be, like, too forward or anything, mm -hmm. but I, like, I feel like we kind of, like, vibe. I don't know. So I was, like, maybe thinking uh, we could, like, get to know each other a little. Uh-huh. On, like, you know, just, like. What do you mean, like? Damn, play that back. Play that back. This man. Oh, me, that nigga. <laughs> around. Why? Is he making. <laughs> I peeped that shit too, bro. I just didn't know what he said, bro. I didn't get looked. Shit, I don't know. He looks uncomfortable though. That's why, like, I don't know. He looks very uncomfortable with this whole situation. Making sure his girlfriend is still upstairs and can't hear. What do you mean, like? Like I could have gone upstairs, but like I don't know. I just like felt like a vibe kind of. Oh, here we go. Okay, now she's like. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I know, like you're what came with your girl, so I'm not trying to like you right. know be weird, but like. No, yeah, I mean, um, are you, are you, like, flirting with me? Like, are... Yeah, like, I, I just, like, you know, He's... gotta have time for fun sometimes, too. Oh, man, Violet is cooking. I think we could do, like, maybe a shoot together and, like, maybe we could get to know each other. I just feel like we kind of, like, vibe. What do you Feeling... mean? Y'all y'all, haven't even talked, bro. He feels uncomfortable, bro. My thing with this... This is, like, you're giving Violet a very hard assignment, bro, because she just got to spark up some shit and some, like, this is a very awkward conversation to, like, or awkward situation to flirt with a guy. Because, like, I mean, I don't know, bro. It feels so forced, bro, and he just, he visibly looks uncomfortable, bro. Like, this is, I don't know, man. We could have, maybe, maybe a different test we could have did or something. I don't know, bro. Like, like I just like, felt like maybe like we could just get to know each other a little more. Okay. Um. What? Why are you laughing? <laughs> oh yeah, am I am I getting like recorded right now? Like. Oh me, yo, it, yeah, like it feels fake. It feels fake. It feels fake. It feels fake. Like he's already peeping this shit, bro. I think he's in the past. <laughs> Why would we be, why would you be like being recorded? I don't know, like this just feels really like synthetic, I guess, like artificial, like, cause. What do you? <laughs> I, I, I think I know what this is, like. Like, what do you mean? I was. Like it's, you know, like it's a work for me. Like I've never, nobody's ever, you know. I just, I just thought you were kind of, but like, I'm not trying to make you uncomfortable or anything. Yeah, but it's also like, I just get brought to this house, right, and then, and then all of a sudden, his assistant just comes in here and like starts flirting with me, like, I, like I mean, I, I wasn't trying to like be disrespectful or anything, like, uh -huh. I'm so sorry if I made you right, uncomfortable. Okay. I'm sorry if I, um, 
I don't know what, like, I'm just, you know, I was right. just trying to talk to you. He's questioning everything. All right, we had no idea if Justin had caught onto this test or if he was just suspicious of Violet hitting on him and thought something else was going on. I just thought you were, like, kind of cute. Like, yeah, sorry. <laughs> I was just, I'm sorry, I was just trying to play with you, but like, I don't mean to make you like uncomfortable or anything. Yeah, because I'm, I'm, a, I'm a real, you know, Chris Hemsworth, you know, like I, six foot five, don't, don't, you know. Don't say that. Hey, he's realistic though, like, bro, why is this bad bitch just flirting with me off the fucking ripper? Like, I ain't say nothing to this girl. Mind you, actually, I came in with my girl. Why is this bad bitch, it's probably like an IG model trying to flirt with me, bro. It doesn't make sense, bro. They should have cooked, bro. Bro, smart. He's literally the only smart one. I will be in the same situation. It doesn't make sense. Like, nobody's in the room with us. You're flirting with me. Nobody's coming downstairs. My girl's still upstairs. What's going on, bro? They set this shit up so horribly, bro. You're cute. I like your hair. It's, like, right. fluffy. But I don't, I don't want to make you, like, uncomfortable no, or anything. I, and, and you're Jordan's assistant? Yeah. Like his actual assistant? Yes. Okay. <laughs> He's done by it. Mm -hmm. He's like, you're right. Damn, yeah, I think our plan is definitely foiled. At least for today. Maybe that's why this man was looking around. He wasn't looking for his girlfriend, he just grew suspicious. By the way, did Violet really call this man's hair fluffy? What is it going to be like? <laughs> <laughs> then yo, Violet did not find him attractive at all, bro. Mean. Why would I like why about that? We met at like a um, party a couple of, like what a party? year ago. It yeah, that, yeah, 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 y'all caught up, y'all caught, y'all caught, he caught, yo, y'all caught, yo. Whoever uh, bet like forty k on no, you might get your payment today, man. I ain't gonna lie. It was the Chief Keith party? Chief <laughs> Keith party. Have you ever like watched the show around him? I don't think so. <laughs> Why is that funny? Okay. He does like events, so I met him there, and then right, he hired me yeah. for some stuff, and we've been working together since. Word, okay. And do you normally just like, you just like hit on his clients or something, or well, like? no, I just thought you were kind of cute, but like I wasn't uh, trying to. Casanova put 20K like, on yes, you're finna lose your like money, boy. Cinematography, like I'm That's crazy. Like, vibes a bit. And you really like cinematography too. Yeah, I think it's like super interesting. Cool. Cool, cool, yeah, cool. he not buying this shit. Okay. <laughs> oh, he's not buying. Just end it. He, got on. he does. He gets hit on by a girl. He's like, this must be a TV show. <laughs> <laughs> this cannot be real life. What's going on here? I wasn't like, do you want like a? She sock? tested him out of curiosity because he had no red flags. She got to be the problem on oh, me. Like, why would you test your boy? Like this. This is a loyal guy. That's a loyal guy. This is a loyal guy. Like, not once did I feel like he was going forward. I ain't gonna lie, you put a lot of niggas in this situation, even if they do find it uh, suspicious or whatever, they folding because it's just Violet, bro. She bad as hell. This nigga not folding, clap it up for this nigga. I ain't gonna hurry. Yo, clap it up for him, bro. I ain't gonna lie, Baljeet is cooking, man. I ain't gonna hurry. Baljeet is cooking. Or something, I feel really bad. Yeah. I wasn't trying to like make you side. uncomfortable or anything. I'll, I'll, I'll take come, I'll take come here. Okay. Sorry. Sorry if I came on too strong. Oh. Like, don't tell Jordan. Like, I wasn't trying to scare you away. Kudos to Violet for not breaking character and still trying to save this thing. You don't think she could save it? Jocelyn, you know him best. Um, you think there's a point in keeping this going? You think? Maybe he's paranoid. I mean, he doesn't know for sure yet. Like, Do you think he's catching on to the fact that it's a loyalty test? Or do you think that he's catching on to the fact like something else is going on? I feel like he's not <laughs> sure what it is. But I know for a fact that you know something is happening. But now I feel bad because I feel like I made you like uncomfortable and no, I wasn't trying fine. to. Do you want to continue? For example, sending Jordy Bye. back downstairs and trying to play it off and we could take it into a phase two? Or do you think like, no, nah, this whole thing is spoiled? Yeah, I think he's caught on to this. Yeah, you don't yeah. think there's any point in saving this? Just cut it, bro. Mm -mm. I'm surprised he's not questioning the house. He's looking around a lot. He knows he's... I feel like we need to send Jordan back down to make this look somewhat authentic so he could at least get to the interview and make it look like somewhat real. Uh, well, is he going to be hireable either way? <laughs> <laughs> he's not working for I was getting into the interview, you know? Like, I was Jordan's like, like, he actually had potential. <laughs> not going to lie, guys. I was pretty down to take this into a phase two and just see how things played out. But ultimately, it was Jocelyn's choice. To her, this whole thing was... Yo, Jay. When I really think about it, how do you, where do you think UDY went wrong, bro? Where do y'all think they went wrong? Because this is like unrealistic. They sold this shit so bad. Where do you think they went wrong? He 
you brought the girlfriend in the house. I think that's a big thing. I don't think that guy's like unloyal either. Going too fast. Yeah, this should be this, bro. If a boyfriend like this, it needs to be like a multi-day plan. This is way too simple, way too straightforward, bro. Like it, it's you couldn't like let this marinate, bro. It just feels fake. This just looks fake, bro. She's honestly right. But you, I I know why they did this though, because in the past. They just thought Violet was overpowered, which she is. Because, like, in the past, all you had to do was just put Violet in the room with a nigga he's folded. And that's just how good Violet is, bro. She's, like, a five-star talent. But, bro, I ain't gonna lie, bro. When you put a loyal man to five-star talent and the situation just doesn't feel right, he's not folded, bro. And I feel like, yo, if they let this test marinate, maybe make it, like, a week-long test, you feel me, have it constantly build up, maybe she would have made him fold. But... They just got cocky. I mean, they've been having Violet and Madeline go back to back, making these niggas fold and shit, bro. They thought, yo, this could be another easy little one hit test type shit, and they just got cocky with it, bro. And they and they failed, man. I, I think that's really what it is. She's pushing too heavy, too fast. I mean, what else is she supposed to do, bro? Like, he wasn't trying to talk to her, so like, she kind of had to interview the nigga. I ain't gonna lie, where the blonde camera girl? That's what I'm trying to see too. Even if we were to continue this two, three weeks from now, this man would still be onto us. This man's very smart and very upfront. There's no way Violet hits him up two months from now without him still being like, are you flirting with me? Which in my book makes him loyal. At this point, either we have to a play it off like this is an episode of Punk and it's not a loyalty <laughs> test. And like we're doing something else or B. Shit, I mean, oh yeah, that girl's cooked. Their relationship is cooked. I'm not going to lie. Their relationship is cooked. Cause that smart, intelligent ass nigga, he not finna be wanna be with her if she's putting him through these type of tests. Um, I don't think he was gonna fail this test anyway. But why tell him? Like, you know. <laughs> 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 don't even tell. But don't tell him. What if what if he stumbles across it on YouTube though? I mean, we could play it out as an episode of Punk to be. <laughs> Okay, why yeah. not? We prank him by tricking him to show he's on. <laughs> Damn. I really am not trying to make you uncomfortable. Right. And now I just I feel uncomfortable because I can feel that you're uncomfortable. Right. So we'll what? just wait for him to get back. Are you gaslighting me? Like, I feel like, <laughs> I feel, I feel like I'm schizophrenic. I don't think I'll take it if you tell him that it was a load of death. I feel like she already knows. But will he be upset that he thinks that you didn't trust him? You know, like... It could be safer for you to not tell him. Like, nah, I ain't gonna lie. He already know, bro. As soon as she, as soon as they get home, she, yo, she finna get into, the, she finna get into her room. That nigga finna come up, come in behind her, close the door, tell her to sit down. This nigga's doing one of these. I'm not finna lie. He doing one of these. So, your family, yo, he he doing one of these. I'm not finna lie to you, babe. We done on me. He deserves better, though. I'm not gonna hold you, bro. What the hell? Harry has arms. Later on, though, and he, she didn't tell him. If he didn't automatically notice and recognize Violet or you two, there's mm -hmm. no way he watched it. Exactly. Channel. He would have known exactly. He would have known exactly. exactly. He'll probably see it if I see it. She's about to unsubscribe. <laughs> I'm like, you know what? Unsubscribe, not follow. No, nah, just you tell him, bro. Doing? The relationship's I'm cooked. I'm down to say it was like a prank. Yes. For another show. <laughs> yeah, a prank is better than a test. It's not like you were testing him. Exactly. It was a prank. <laughs> Are you going down or no? I don't think I should. No, you need to stay up here. I'll stay up here watching. I'll tell him about my show, Pond. What if he doesn't believe that? <laughs> <laughs> so with that, they're decides to come clean to Justin. You know, in her own way. I feel like you like think I'm like doing something crazy to you right now. You know what you're saying, Kyle? Yeah, this is our new version of Pond. It'll be on our YouTube, my YouTube channel. I'm doing my You don't see YouTube. It'll be out on TV or something like that. Jordan and Nathan, you can ask him why he caught on, how he caught on, et cetera, et cetera. You guys got this. <laughs> I don't know if this was a good Chad, idea. But let's do you think this is the best? I can't. Never mind. Hold on. Let me lock in. Let's see how this turns out. Jesus Christ. What is this? What, what, what did this become? I hope you guys have your talkies because you guys are. Chad, what, did y'all think this was like the big, like, hold on, bro. Let me stop stuttering. Did y'all think this was like the best way to handle this? Like how they did, I feel like they could handle this shit better. Like I would, if I was the girlfriend, I would have just told him, and you feel me, whatever. And then I would have just gaslit him into thinking, oh, but you passed, so you're like the one for me on some bullshit. I ain't gonna lie, that's the only way you can get out of this. Ready now, this shit's gonna be good. I can still say that. I mean, I yeah, you can that. say it. Is that like, is that not cool? Like what does this mean for payout? Let's get to the end of the video.
Alright, but I'm not finna lie, that nigga passed, bro. So if you wanna pay out earlier, you got it, but that nigga passed. I'm not, I'm not finna lie, bro. I ain't gonna hold you. Shout out to bro. That nigga passed, man. I'm not finna hold you. I ain't gonna lie. Niggas might be losing. Y'all can wait to pay out until like the end of the video, but I'm just letting y'all know what it is. I'm not gonna lie. This is the one situation where this nigga actually passed, bro. That's crazy. Hi. Hey, bro. Justin. Oh, what's up, man? What's up? Um. I wish things would have worked out for us, but right. you're a okay. qualified candidate. Word. That Word. was the most awkward so, 10 minutes of my life. Oh. So I have to ask you, what right. made you catch on so fast? Because we're filming a new oh, episode okay. in the TV series, right, we're right. kind of a spin-off of Punk. So <laughs> Why is he introducing it? You should have let the light skin do it, bro. You should have let the light skin do it, bro. Okay. We pretty much were working with your girlfriend to see how you'd act in an awkward situation out of work. Nice. Right. Um, yeah, well, what gave it away? Um, I don't know. I think the whole idea was kind of like a little outlandish. Was it the house? Like, was the house? I mean, yeah, I guess. Also, wasn't. Damn. Niggas lost 20k. Um, getting used to like being hit on, on in a, in a work meeting. I think that was a little random. <laughs> um. So yeah, I mean, I guess, I guess like it. I mean, first of all, it, it didn't really match like the like the vibe, I guess. And everything was just kind of you know suspicious, a little weird, out of out of the norm, I guess. Um, and um, I don't know. I, so we wasn't sort of, sly at all. None of us. You know what I mean? I mean, no. Like it, you know, at, at first it was just like, oh, okay, like, yeah, maybe this is just this is Hollywood. You know, I don't know. Like, <laughs> I never, I've never been to like a really big like work meeting for someone that, you know, works for like a whole like music venue or sort of thing, but um, I think the more I stayed, I was kind of like, yeah, this is, this is, this is interesting. You started like piecing it together a little bit? Right, yeah, like this is, uh, it's a little strange. <laughs> a little strange, yeah. I, I, it felt like it's corn the script. This, so. hey, nah, well, this shit felt fake as fuck, I'm not gonna lie. You're one of our first contestants on the show. <laughs> I mean, Guess congratulations on figuring it out. And yeah, thanks. I guess he's gonna he's gonna find out. She just she just yo, she just she should have just told this nigga the truth. He's gonna find out. I guarantee he's gonna go. He's gonna find out, bro. God damn. Much more entertaining episode. Okay. <laughs> okay. What do you guys think made this man catch on? Like I didn't want him to fail, but I wanted to see the test all the way through. I feel like we had a good plan, but this man was just too smart for us. He saw through everything. Maybe if we would have filmed this in an office, it would have been different though. Like maybe filming in a house wasn't the best for an interview setting. Or maybe Jordan throwing all that shade at Canada made him suspicious. Or maybe the test did go all the way through. Maybe Justin is super loyal that every time he gets hit on by a girl, he truly questions its legitimacy. And what do you think about her putting you on the show and working with us? Uh, it was okay. funny. I mean, yeah, you know, it was fun, I guess. Okay. I mean, it definitely seems like something she would do. <laughs> that was like not what I expected. I didn't expect you to find out. I mean, I kind of wish it was actually like a work meeting. Like I, <laughs> I think he said that too, though. No, you might, you might actually have a job now. I'm not gonna uh, lie. Yeah, like, yeah, this, yeah, I kind of wish I, I could have gotten a job, but. Damn, so the whole thing was Damn. a little awkward and cringy, but Justin seems to have been taking it all pretty well. Honestly, I feel like Jocelyn would have been fine telling him it was a loyalty test. I hope you're not. That's what I said. Yeah, he, I ain't gonna lie. She might have been fine just telling him it's a loyalty test. But she lied to this nigga now, so like, I don't know, bro. This shit might be cooked. That might be cooked. I don't mean, I'm not mad. I just no. want to no. see where Yo, she is. better give this nigga the best dome of his life when she gets home, bro. Oh, oh, I guess you're back then. Oh, damn, I'll get you back. We gotta put her to the test now. <laughs> I'm sure Jocelyn will eventually tell him what this actually was if he doesn't already know, and I'm sure they're gonna be fine. Just how I'm also pretty sure that Justin would have passed if we would have taken this thing to a phase two. Well, I mean, hopefully, right? I thought this was funny. It seemed really awkward though, right? I thought it was funny. I know it was awkward for he you. He was so, okay, he's really funny. He definitely knew. He knew like right away. Like literally the second I said anything like flirty, he just gave me a look of like. And now he thinks he was on punked. It's like double inception. He's gonna figure out what this really was oh, later. He, wait, he doesn't, okay, so that's why you guys said that. Cause I was like, why are we not saying what we actually? Yeah, no, that's why Sergio didn't come down. So he doesn't. He doesn't know what we're. It's more of a prank. I think it he wasn't knows. Like a... I think he knows what it is. He for sure does. Chad, that's different, man. Different ass episode. <laughs>